we have question 21 a salesman sells a car for ten thousand five hundred dollars if he is paid a commission of five percent for the first ten thousand and eight percent on the remainder then the total commission he receives is so we know the commission on the first ten thousand dollars is five percent so we calculate five percent of ten thousand and that will give us 500 because when we when we cancel out this you know this will go here 100 times then 5 times 100 will give us 500 dollars then the commission on the remainder to get the remainder we subtract the 10,000 from the 10,500 and apply the percentage which is 8% on it so that will give us 500 now we know that 100 will go here five times now eight times five is 40 eight times five is 40 not 45 so eight times five is 40 now what do we do next we add the 40 to 500 and that will give us 540 so that was a mistake and it's good I spotted it early so 100 will go into 500 5 times and 5 times 8 will give us 40 now we add a 40 to the 500 which will give us 540 so this is supposed to be 540 540 dollars i did a mistake and the answer to is there which means you need to be very careful so now let's move on to question 22 mr jones buys a car for 64 thousand dollars the car depreciates by 20 percent in the first year and 10 percent in each of the following years the value of the car at the end of the second year is now let's go we know that for the uh, the first year at the end of the first year you need to subtract the depreciated value from the original value so the original value is uh, 64,000 and the depreciation will be 20% of 64,000 and when we do that we get one, one, 12,800 we take it from the original value to get 51,200 so the value of the the value at the end of the first year is 51,200 but the next year the depreciation will be 10% so we apply 10% to this and take it out of this so 10% of this you know this will cancel this we are left with 512 10 times 512 give us 5 one two zero five thousand one twenty dollars now we take it out of this fifty one thousand and we get forty six thousand and eighty that will be the correct answer then for question twenty three we have this expression fifteen p plus fifty five q minus two into 3p plus 4q so we need to expand multiply this by this then multiply this by this so when you do that you get negative be mindful of the negative negative 2 times this will give a negative 6p the negative 2 times 4 will give you negative 8q so now we can regroup the terms by moving this to this and moving this to this then that will give us this expression 15p minus 6p then 55 minus this we simplify to get 9p plus 47q so 9p plus 47q is option a 24 we have this negative negative of 2q minus 3q so negative negative give us positive so that will give you 2q this will give you positive 2q then subtract 3q to get 2 minus 3 which is negative 1 
times q and it will give you negative q now 25 option 25 you have 2 exponent 6 divided by 2 exponent 2 so you remember that law of indices a exponent m divided by a exponent n you write down one base then you subtract the exponent so the same thing you apply here so this is what we have the bases are the same so we subtract the exponent 6 minus 2 give you 4 so the correct answer will be 2 exponent 4 now we have number 26 over here if p over 5 is equal to 20 then p is equal to what so the given expression is this now to get rid of the fraction we need to multiply both sides by 5 and that will give you this now this will cancel this and left with p is equal to 20 times 5 so they didn't simplify it the answer was inside like that so the correct option will be option d when 7 is added to 3 times a certain number n the result is 22 the statement above may be represented by the equation so we know 3 times a certain number n will be 3n now we're told that 7 is added to 3 times the number so we will have 3n plus 7 now the next thing is that the result is 22 so this is the resulting expression after we add 7 so it must be equal to 22 therefore the correct answer will be 3n plus 7 equal 22 option c Twenty-eight. Thirty-six 36 men can paint a shopping mall in 25 days how many days will it take 15 men to paint the mall if they work at the same rate so they are working at the same rate you know if it takes 36 men for 25 days then now that the men are 15 they will take a longer day number of days to do the work so if they will take a more number of days then less must divide less must divide so you compare these two values which of them is less is a 15 15 is less so you do you divide the the product of 36 by 25 by 15 and that will give you something like this 36 times 25 over 15 so that will be equal to 60 therefore um, it will take 15 men 60 days you can see that 15 men will take more than 25 days to do the work so the correct answer will be C in other words if it will be less then you have to divide with the more so you have to always analyze the situation to see whether it will require more or it will require less and if more less device and if more if less more device then let's go to the 29 if x equal 4 and y equal 2 then the value of this is what so it's just a matter of substituting we're given the expression to so substitute substitute x equal 4 and y equal 2 that will give us 4 squared plus 3 times 2 all over 4 times 2 so you know 4 square will be 16 and 3 2 will be 6 4 2 8 and that will give us 22 over 8 you can reduce by 2 you can reduce by 2 by 2 and that, that. if you reduce by 2 this will give us 11 
So if we reduce by 2, this will give us 11, and this will also give us 4. So that's what we had here. And you know, 4 will go into 11 two times, and the remainder will be 3. So the correct answer will be 2 whole number 3 over 4. Item 30 refers to the following diagram of a trapezium. So this is the trapezium. The bases are 2 cm by x minus 4 cm. We have the height to be h. So we know that the area of a trapezium is given by half times sum of the power size. So these are the power size. You sum them, then half it and multiply by the perpendicular height. So that will be equal to substitute this inside here because they are the spiral size now we can when we're told that the area of the trapezium is x squared so that is how come we got that now we we need to simplify this I just expanded here I assume that this is one so we expand you get this now the next thing is to reorganize or rearrange so two minus four that will give you negative 4. So I use the h to multiply the 1 here to get this. So we have x squared equal h over 2. And that will give you this something like this. And this can be rewritten as h over 2 into x minus 2. Therefore, the correct choice is x squared equal h over 2 into x minus 2. Option A is the correct answer. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel and also my second channel. Now, if you can still see this red thing here, it means you have not yet subscribed. So, you just have to click it so that the next upload, you see it is still red. You have to click it so that if I upload the next video, you'll be informed. Click the bell icon too, so that you get a notification whenever I upload a new video. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe.